All right, so the first thing we're going to look at today, uh, I've actually, I've showed this before, so I already have a hype here set up, sort of, with what we're going to do, which is look at how we can make an enemy that's going to follow the player here. Uh, so as we can see, we already kind of have it, but I'm, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff so that we can do it again. Well, I'm going to leave some of this. So the collision trigger that's here, this is the the kind of like death by bullet logic. So the bullet is in the pink object group here. If the bullet hits the guy, it sets off this particle effect and it sets off the destroyer, essentially exploding our little zombie guy here. So we're going to leave that and we're going to leave rigged animations here. It's already set to walk, which is what we're going to want it on. Um, so in order to get this guy uh to this zombie to follow our guy we're really only going to need two nodes here i'm going to do a little bit more than this basic logic but uh, we're going to start off with these two nodes i want to just check this guy's coordinates so that i can line my nodes up with him um so we're going to need a uh look at which is here in actions so we have a look at component here and I'm going to do this one at a time. So we're going to make the rotating target our zombie. And then the look at target is going to be our character here. Uh, there's a few other settings we want to look at in here. So we do want it to affect physical. We're going to leave that on. Um, local rotate doesn't really matter for this example because we're going to kind of lock how this guy can move uh so that he can only rotate in one direction uh but also we are going to turn off that free rotate and that's also going to help us lock rotation to just one direction so what we're going to see now is we've got this lookup set up this zombie is going to follow us uh just by rotating so he's rotating so that he's always facing towards the player but he's not moving yet even though he's got a walk animation there he's not actually moving so next we're going to add a force force also in action and again our target is going to be the zombie this we are going to want to use local force and what this is going to mean is that the direction of the force is going to change as the direction of the zombie changes uh, but what we see here is with the force where it currently is, we can see the arrow coming out of the top of the zombie's head. That means the force is pointing straight up. So we are going to want to rotate this force so that the arrow points out of the front of the zombie. And then last thing we're going to want to do here is do reset velocity. And what that, that is going to do is kind of help us control the speed of the zombie. If we leave that reset velocity off, then he's going to constantly be kind of gaining, gaining, gaining momentum. Uh, and, it, you know, depending on what you want your enemies to be like, that might be good. But I think for our zombie enemy here, we want him to kind of move at a nice steady pace. Uh, we're not doing fast zombies here. We're doing kind of slow zombies. But now our zombie has the force. And we can see there he is trying to move, but he is not moving. So let's see why he's not moving. So we look in here, of course, we're going to check physical. He's on dynamic. We've already locked down some angular motion here. So he can only turn on the Y axis. So he can only spin around. He can't fall over, uh, fall to the either side. Um, so most likely what we're having here is that our force just needs to be stronger. I'm going to guess. So like if we take this force, oh, or also the force needs to be working. That helps. So sometimes you make a dumb mistake and then Shogun just made a dumb mistake, which was he forgot to turn the force on. But now the force is on and here we go. Guys coming right after us, running. We're running away. We, we can sh turn around and shoot him. All right. So that's the first part of this already with just two nodes. Well, and a little bit of stuff that was already in our zombie there. We got the zombie following the player.